What will be your group's contribution to the new center of biosustainability? We will be a technological support platform and we will work on three different things. Uh, microfluidics and bi nanobiotechnology. We will also work on genomics, sequencing the different organisms from the different groups. But we will also work on gene const constructs and very efficient ways of doing gene constructs. Why did you decide to focus on molecular bioscience in your research? Well, I'm a chemical engineer by training. And what we have right now is wonderful uh, uh, toolboxes for uh, doing different types of biosustainability research. And molecular bioscience is, uh, is, is a fantastic toolbox right now. So we, I want to use the chemical engineering training, but also use these modern technologies that are so wonderful. How long time would you think it will take you before you get a real breakthrough in your research? Well, this is research, so you can't really predict these sort of things. Uh, so uh, I, I have to say that real breakthroughs cannot be planned. Uh, they just have to come. But I hope then that in the next few years we will have some real breakthroughs from the center, but also from our contributions in Stockholm. But could you say in which product line would you think it will come about when it does come about? Well, in, we are doing metabolic engineering and uh, we hope then that the platforms that we have in Stockholm will be used in many of these different types of, of engineering projects. So I'm not sure which, uh, I, I hope that we can make contributions to a lot of them. But would it be a secret for you now to tell us what you hope to see very soon in three or four years, what you would call a breakthrough? No, I think that a breakthrough in this field is that you can actually, uh, in a more efficient way, produce in a biosustainable way new products. Uh, and also, I think it would be nice to move towards having the cell factory as a key element for producing basically all molecules that are interesting for society. Which oil-based processes do you expect to be replaced by bioscience in the near future? Well, I think already today, I think uh, in order to produce ethanol, uh, I think we can use, and from biomass is, is a very interesting, where we have come quite far. Uh, and also to produce very uh, biochemicals that are useful in different settings. So that can be do, done today. Then, of course, in the future, I think we can replace, I think, in, in the end of the day, all oil-based products with uh, biosustainability uh, approaches. But that would be like a revolution. It is a revolution. That's why we're doing this. Could you say what impact will a breakthrough with the cell factories have on the society? It will have huge impact. Uh, I think that one of the big problems uh, we have and, um, and the challenges today is the fact that we're not living in a biosustainable society. If we can uh, achieve that by using the building blocks of life to produce the molecules that we need, it will have huge impact on, on society. What is the biggest challenge for the society if we're going to change or switch from oil-based uh, industry to bio-based industry? Well, I think it's scientific and technical. Uh, it is, uh, we, we can today do metabolic engineering of certain pathways and so on, but it's still f quite far away from being commercially feasible uh, in many cases. So in order to move from relatively expensive production into something where we can compete with the with oil-based, it, uh, that's, that's the big challenge. Uh, and that has to be done by painful and, 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 and a lot of work where you have to optimize a lot of different things. Matthias Olin, it was nice to have you with us. Thank you.